little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grumpy Rabbit in Space. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we have a special treat. Grumpy Rabbit is here to talk about space rockets. Rocket! George loves space rockets. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit has a very loud voice. What have I got here? A rock. Yes, but not any old rock. I found it on the moon. Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous. Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you have to shout blast off as loudly as possible. Blast off! I can't hear anything. Blast off! Vroom! There I was, flying through space. And then I landed on the moon! It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you could jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there, with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say ah, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying ah now. <coughs> Louder. That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! They're getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. <laughs> Little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Spider Web. 
Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden There we are, a nice tree for you to live in <laughs> What is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy. You said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Ooh. Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr. Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that? Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus. 
Focus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Peppa? There's no circus here. Why have you got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh. What's a garden party? It's where grown-ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny! We're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <coughs> wow. What did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Pepper, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! Be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, Welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> On tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping! It's the strong Danny dog! <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> Oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah, that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs>